Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. What will happen to the king if he didn't see the chief, the staff of office? Hmm. Please pity him and return it. Hello, everyone. A very warm big thank you to you. Thanks for supporting us. Uh, <laughs> this has been going on now since the Ensas protest was hijacked by hoodlums who went into the palace of the Obar of Lagos and then um, took um, some of his valuables, including the chief, the staff of office, his uh, customized royal shoe, they swam in his swimming pool, and um, what have you. Yesterday I heard an interesting one, I don't know how true, not confirmed. Someone says they found girls here in the palace chained. I don't know how true, like I said, uh, that was somebody mentioning that. It's not been in the news, but I heard that. I just thought that I verify if any of you have heard any such thing with regards to the Obar of Lagos Palace. Anyway, this is what will happen uh, if the Obar does not get back the staff of office. Um, you know, it's like a farmer that goes to the farm without uh, a cutlass. So he wants to go there. He wants to uh, clear off the weeds. He wants to do some planting. He wants to cut down the shrubs and the weeds that have overgrown the farm. How will he do that? So apparently the staff of office is that cutlass, right? Yes. And then the cutlass is missing, yet the king has to go to farm. Yet the king has to rule. So what could possibly happen? Can another staff not be, uh, you know, quickly craft for him? Does he have to find that very staff of office? These are some of the questions telling and people are asking. So what will happen? Let's get on straight into the news and get all the details. It is very disappointing to hear that the king lost his staff of office because the staff of office is very important to the king more than anything. How is it important to see a king without staff of office? It is bad and it does not bring respect to the king. Many people don't know how important the staff of office is. The staff of office is very important, but many people mm -hmm. don't understand the relevance of the staff of office. Uh, the king holding that staff of office makes him a king. And there is nothing more specific if he's not with the staff of office. People don't see him as a king. As for the culture, if the king did not get the staff of office, it is not a good omen. There are many things that may happen to him if he, if it was in the olden days, the Oloyes and the people of the land where the king rules will have dethroned the king if he possibly loses the staff of office. In some villages without the staff of office, the king will never be called a king as at the moment until he gets the staff of office back. Without the staff of office, the king has no voice in anything. He cannot give any and cannot control the kingdom like kings do. Please, I urge anyone who is with the staff of office to please help the king, pity him and return his staff of office. Without the staff of office, there is no one who will respect and adore him as a king. It is because of the staff of office, people call him king. So if you take it away, you are the king. Can you please return it if it's with you? Uh, well, uh, this is the words being said that the king needs to hold the staff of office. But somebody has taken the staff of office to ransom. They said without it, the king would not be referred to, respected, loved, and accepted as a king. But I beg your pardon, it's happening already. We don't know those with the staff of office. We don't know who took it. But they are saying they should be pitied and then please return it as the king needs it to be a king to have his authority back, to have his relevance back. We don't know those who has taken it, but pictures uh, of the guys running away with the staff of office were cited. And um, I mean, this has continued to trail the internet. Yesterday, we got a video from the people saying, uh, whoever has taken it, the person refused to return it. Uh, this and this and this will happen to the person. The person will not be, you know, said so the person can be charmed. 
you know the person can be they can do some divinations and the person will have no choice but to return it they said the staff of office will return whether the person likes it or not because then they will use divinations on him so this is what is happening and then we are waiting to see how these divinations will have affect this person and the person will all of a sudden run back and return the staff of office you watch the video of one of the uh, king's men who said um, the king himself gave a seven day ultimatum but they themselves has given um, a shorter ultimatum saying the person has to return it within a specific uh, given time if not that person will have himself to blame so these are matters going on in our state in our community right now where the staff of office has to be returned and returned urgently because the king needs the staff of office to be a king to be in charge to be able to uh give his position to be able to say he's the king with confidence uh because a lot is going on right now it's quite disappointing that the king you know lost the staff of office which is uh, part of his a big part of his uh, relevance as a king so this is happening uh the order of lagos is still appealing is he appealing? No, they've said that it's an ultimatum. Uh, it's not appealing. It's an ultimatum for the person, whoever has the staff of office, has to re return it or some voodoo will be done on that person and the person will have to return it whether he likes it or yes. Uh, this happened when the palace of the Oba was invaded. It was not just the staff of office that was taken. They said they found a coffin there and the coffin contained dollars. Ooh. That's juicy. So I don't know. So that's part of what happened. And um, it's quite interesting to note that, um, you know, the guys also made their way with the coffin. They were not even scared that it was a coffin. They were not scared at all. In fact, they carried it with joy, you see, and they've gone to share the dollars. I don't know if they're on their way out of the country. I don't know exactly, you know, but um, some boys, hoodlums, took the coffin and they ran away with it. So ah, they've been they've been told that uh, voodoo will be done to them. They will have to return it, whether they like it or yes. At some point, they will have to return the staff of office, which belongs to the Oba of Lagos. You see, they said the Oba of Lagos. Uh, this is his staff of office. This is his private property, including his shoe, customized royal shoe, was also taken. And some people had the guts to go and bait in his swimming pool. Ooh, his swimming pool. So this is part of what is happening in our country. Anyway, guys, what do you think? The Oba has been appealing and said he has given a seven-day ultimatum. The chiefs has also said that um, the person does not return it. The person will be vodalized. So leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts with regards to all that is happening. Uh, God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Don't forget you have a voice. They may want to intimidate us, but we can speak. And we cannot allow ourselves to be intimidated. That's how we move forward. God bless you. Bye for now.